Yeah, a sinister calculating serial rapist and killer has been caught. And tonight police say it was one of their own who terrorized them back in the 70s and even in the 80s. Our Emory Turner tonight has more on how they tracked him down. And one of their own. Imagine how terrifying this was. A killer and a rapist who always seemed to be just one step ahead of the officers trying to track him down. He actually was one of them. Over the years, he was known as the East Bay Rapist, the Golden State Killer, and many more. Tonight, he has a name. Joseph James D'Angelo. This man is 72 years old and was living in a nice neighborhood in Sacramento. Prosecutors say his reign of terror started way back in 1974 and stretched for 12 years to 1986. During that time, 12 people were murdered. 51 women were raped. More than 120 homes broken into. But it was just in the last week that it was DNA evidence that led to match some of the evidence that now is 40 years old. And today, police made the arrest of D'Angelo. It is fitting that today is National DNA Day. We found the needle in the haystack, and it was right here in Sacramento. For the 51 ladies who were brutally raped, in this crime scene. Sleep better tonight. He isn't coming through the window. He's now in jail and he's history. Right now, D'Angelo is charged in just two of the murders. The former police officer is held without bound right now. And we do want to emphasize something here. This break happened because of California's DNA database. That collects a sample from anyone who is arrested in a felony case. And just this last year, here in Indiana, the state passed a law to do the very same thing. Andrea? An unbelievable turn of events out there in California, and thank you.